Zoho Payroll is an online payroll software tailored for Indian businesses. With Zoho Payroll, you can add and manage employee details. You can get their loss of pay information from Zoho people. You can set up pay run approvals. You can run your payroll in few clicks. You can pay your employees directly from within the app with ICICI Bank integration. Employee pay slips will be automatically generated and sent across to them. Corresponding accounting entries are posted automatically within Zoho Books. On top of all this, Zoho Payroll provides an employee self-service portal for your employees where they can log in to see their salary slips, salary structure, they can add their investment proofs, download Form 16 and a lot more all from their smartphone. Let's create a new Zoho Payroll organization. Go to zoho.com slash payroll. Here, click on start a free trial. Enter the company name, email address, phone number and then the password. Once done, click on sign up now. If you are an existing Zoho user, you can click on sign in and enter your Zoho credentials to create a new organization. Now, you'll be taken to the quick setup page. Here you can add the industry type, you can add your company address and if you have multiple work locations, you can add those locations later inside the application. If you have run your payroll for this fiscal year already and then moving to Zoho Payroll, you have to choose this option so that Zoho Payroll will collect the prior payroll information which will help Zoho Payroll to calculate the taxes and other components accurately for this fiscal year. Once done, you can click on save and continue. Here in the tax information section, you can add the company span, TAN number, TDS or AO circle code, and the tax payment frequency. These tax details will be displayed in your employees form 16. Once done, click on save and continue. Here in the pay schedule section, you can specify how and when you pay your employees. Choose the work week or the working days in a week. And depends on your company, you can choose to pay your monthly salary based on the actual number of days in the month or you can choose the number of days manually here. You can decide when to pay your employees, whether the last working day or you can choose the specific day here. Please note that if the day falls on the non-working day, employees will be paid on the previous working day. You can choose the month from which you would like to start your payroll. You will see more details along with when the salaries will be paid for this particular month based on your previous inputs. Once this is done, click on save and continue. Here you can manage the statutory components. You can enable or disable the components which are applicable to your organization. Any organization with 20 or more employees must register for Employee Provident Fund Scheme, a retirement benefit plan for all your salaried employees. Here, you can enter the EPF number and then the declaration cycle. You can check this box to include the employer's contribution in the CTC. In this case, it will be based on the actual salary of the employee or you can choose to restrict to rupees 15,000. Once done, click on enable. Similarly, you can enable employee state insurance. Organizations having 10 or more employees must register for employee state insurance. This scheme provides cash allowances and medical benefits for employees whose monthly salary is less than 21,000. Profession tax will be automatically enabled based on your company's location. You can choose to enable the labor welfare fund. Once done, click on continue. A salary comprises of several different earnings, deductions and reimbursement components. In this section, you can choose to add or disable the component which need to be displayed or added in your employee's salary. You can check the box to add the earning. You can click on it to change the name and other details. You can add a new earning just by clicking here. You can choose the type of earning and then choose what should be displayed in the payslip. Say for example, you choose holiday allowance and in the pay slips, you would like to show them as leave allowance. You can choose the pay type, whether it's fixed, which will be part of the employee CTC or variable, which is not a fixed amount and will not be part of your employee CTC. You can choose how to calculate whether it's a flat amount or based on a percentage. 
You can enter the amount or percentage here and check this box to make this earning active and save it. Likewise, you can add multiple earnings. Under detections, you can add pre-tax and post-tax detections. Similarly, you can manage reimbursements. Here, I'm going to add an enable fuel reimbursement. Once done, you can click here to preview the payslip. This is a sample payslip to show how the components will be displayed. Zoho Payroll also offers multiple payslip designs which you can choose from. Once done, you can click on Finish Setup. Now, your Zoho Payroll organization is successfully created and you'll be taken to your organization.